Hello everyone, this is Mayna, your crypto friend. Today, I'm really thrilled to have Brennan Wang as my guest. Brennan Wang is the founder of Avocado Guild. Avocado Guild is one of the largest Web3 gaming guild. Can you please introduce yourself as well as Avocado Guild? Sure thing. Um, hi everyone, I'm Brendan, the CEO and co-founder of uh, Avocado, D Avocado Guild. Uh, we were the largest gaming guild in 2021. We started in July of last year and um, we had a very successful Series A led by Animoca Brands. And uh, what started off as a project for providing opportunities to people in Southeast Asia um, through the integration of Web3, NFT lending, revenue sharing has now evolved to be a project where we can um, guide and shape the future of Web3 a little bit. Um, as we see that the space is still growing, um, we kind of evolved to do our part in investing in the ecosystem, uh, continuing to grow and educate our scholars, um, as well as help games build better Web3 games. So that's a bit about Avocado Guild and um, yeah, about myself. So since you mentioned uh, the accessibility for Web3 Gaming is still pretty poor because of mm -hmm. the entry of barriers to Web3 Gaming, is Avocado Guild doing different efforts or what kind of efforts are you guys trying to help users to onboard those users from Web2 to Web3? Ever since the beginning, when Avocado Guild uh, launched last year, ju uh, July, um, ever since we got our first bunch of scholars, we've always encouraged our scholars to um, refer people that they know in like their own neighboring communities, like real people. We found that <clears throat> if you're able to empower the community on the floor um, and, and you get them to you know, tell their friends about something exciting. It's it's like that real word of mouth is really powerful. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we've always aligned ourselves with what we're trying to do with our community. And uh, it was always there to provide a supplementary income earning opportunity um, to a community that was badly affected by COVID. And not only was it badly affected by COVID, but just at that right time, Web3 Gaming was a hit. And uh, we really wanted to provide as much as we could so that these guys could not only earn a supplementary income, mm -hmm. but have exposure to this technology. Mm -hmm. And very early on, we found that the education around wallet security, the understanding of Web3 was quite low. So we came up with initiatives, both online and offline, to educate the uh, scholars, um, teaching them the importance of securing your digital assets, how you do it and what it really means to own a token. So for example, to a standard scholar, the owning of a token could mean I just send it off to an exchange and I off ramp that into fiat, mm. or really understanding that when I have a token, like the volatility and freedom that I have in the space is I can literally go into all the different chains. I can swap this token for any other token. And in a way, mm. not financial advice, but that gives me the option to um, invest in projects that I like, mm. um, to real to in, to invest essentially mm. in um, in in things that they believe in, and that itself is is something that they perhaps didn't really have the opportunity to do where they normally come from because of the regulations, because of um, because of all the uh, friction. Like you understand, in Philippines and Indonesia, there are many, many, many different islands. A lot of these guys don't even have access to like proper good banking. And nowadays with crypto, they now have access to the functionalities of a bank with even without having access to a bank. The transferring of digital assets of tokens is very easy mm -hmm. and they can earn this just from enjoying a game that they're playing with their friends. So our job is not just to provide the NFT rental portion, but really to make sure that um, they navigate the space responsibly. And um, that's why if you look, even in my background, Avocado is depicted as kind of like a little bit of a spaceship. This is like a version one, but a little bit of a spaceship because we want to protect our community I as we navigate the space. I didn't even realize that is an Avocado. Oh, that's an Avocado spaceship? That's yeah, that's an Avocado spaceship, yeah. That's uh, there's a different There's a different one on our Twitter as well, and that's also an Avocado spaceship. Maybe you should uh, make it the background that you're actually sitting in the avocado spaceship. Like, 
Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be a, lab, a very good uh, advertisement. And then every single scholar from the Avocado Guild, they can have their own like avocado spaceship. <clears throat> Maybe as NFTs. In addition to those like online promotions or the online community's efforts, are you guys doing any in-person, offline activities to educate? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. <laughs> so um, in the past, in 2021, we used to host really, really large offline events. Like um, we work with local council to secure like proper assembly halls. And then we would have 20 plus scholars um, managing everything would buy rice would buy like a lorry of chickens uh <laughs> eggs milk seriously everything we do the packages together and then um we'll give it out to our scholars uh and then we'll also even play games uh all of these videos are on youtube um and the purpose of all of these things is really to give back to the community and to help them understand that you know we're here to help you um, and obviously there's priority given to those with families and things like that. So we've done a couple of these events. Mm. Um, we've also done other events where um, we run educational seminars within schools and do some uh, school like paper, pencils and all that kind of giveaways as well.